so you're interested in learning more about the Florida Hometown Heroes program. Let's chat. Today I'm going to highlight some of the details of this program that has recently been revamped and will go live on July 3rd. Before I kick things off, please take a moment to click and like and subscribe. You'll be among the first to learn about real estate information important to home buyers and sellers with a focus specifically on the St. John's and Jacksonville area of Florida. I get calls, messages, and emails daily from people just like yourself looking to learn about the St. John's and Jacksonville area. So whether you're looking to buy, sell, or just simply learn about the area, please feel free to reach out. It would be my pleasure to help you. Now on to the topic at hand about Hometown Heroes. Hometown Heroes is one of four types of down payment assistant programs available to first time home buyers in Florida. There's been $100 million allocated to the program for 2023 and 2024. When we talk about first time home buyers, the program is going to use the definition that the IRS follows, which is that you have not owned a residence in the past three years or inhabited a residence that you did own as your primary home over the course of the past three years. Now, there's two groups of workers that will be considered for this program. The first group are our veterans, active military, spouses of deceased veterans, or retirees of these specific groups. The other group is new for 2023 and 2024, and this encompasses anybody who works 35 plus hours for a Florida-based employer. Now, the trick here is that the employer must have a brick and mortar location in the state of Florida. Let's talk scenarios. Do you work virtually from a home office in St. John's for an employer based in Miami? You can apply for the program. Do you work virtually for an employer out of a home office in Jacksonville and your employer is based out of say Los Angeles? Sorry, unfortunately this program is not going to allow you to qualify. If you're self-employed, as long as your 1099 or your Schedule C of your taxes indicates a Florida-based address, you will be able to apply for the program and be considered. In all instances, business locations can be verified by checking on sunbiz.org. The program offers up to 5% down with a maximum of $35,000. This is up from $25,000 in the past, and there is also a new minimum amount available of $10,000 that was not previously there in the prior year's program. If as part of your purchase, there are seller-based concessions, know that you are not in jeopardy with program participation of those concessions that are part of your closing package. There is a requirement that you have a minimum credit score of 640 points and a maximum debt to income ratio of 50% to qualify. The types of property that will qualify for this program are attached and detached one unit homes, homes with two to four units, condos, and manufactured homes. The thing to note with the manufactured homes is they have to have a date of 1994 or newer to qualify. The funding for this program comes in the format of a 0% non-amortizing 30-year second mortgage on the property. There is no payment required at any point over the course of the 30 years. However, at any point in time, you are free to make payments in if you so desire. That said, if at any point you buy, sell, or transfer the property, think rental, you will have a payment come due immediately on that entirety of that second mortgage. So let's recap. Hometown Heroes is a down payment assistance program for Florida residents. There are two groups of workers who will qualify. You're gonna need a minimum credit score of 640 and there are income-based requirements based on the county where you will be purchasing your residence. You can buy an attached or detached one unit home, which includes townhouses, a two to four unit property, a condo or a manufactured home with a manufacture date of 1994 or newer. The program offers a maximum of 5% towards your down payment or $35,000, which can be applied towards closing costs and your down payment. A few parting thoughts. There are roughly 285 lenders in the state of Florida who can support your application to the program. To 
To leverage the program, your forced mortgage must be through the Florida Housing Organization. This is a one-time use program. And with $100 million committed to this program and the popularity that was experienced last year, modeling and thoughts are that funding is probably going to run low or run out towards the middle or end of the fall of 2023. So if this is a program you are interested in leveraging, we highly suggest that you get in on the earlier side of that. So whether you're looking to learn, buy, or sell real estate in the St. John's and Jacksonville, Florida area, know that it would be my pleasure to help share my knowledge of the local area and markets with you. Please feel free to drop me a message or reach out if I can be of any assistance to you. And thanks for watching.